Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Don't try to force it. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, let's get into your reading. Also, if you would like to support my fundraiser, um, for missing and exploited children, you can click on the link below this video that will take you to my fundraiser. Um, any donation is appreciated. You can give 99 cents, you can give $99, or you can give a thousand. It's up to you. Um, trying to raise money here um, for that cause. So, also, I do have a fundraiser on my channel here that. Um, any money that YouTube takes in um, goes explicitly to the fundraiser, and I don't keep any of the proceeds for that, okay? So let's get into this reading, Virgo. So I'm just going to do a general love reading to see what's coming for you in July and uh, see what the messages are. And if you want to get a personal reading for me or Brandy, I will have a July special. I'll be posting that up soon, okay? All right, so you've got a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with a new love coming in, okay? Uh, so that's good, Virgo. Looks like, you know, I was thinking to myself, do I want to do a singles reading? I mean, most of all y'all are single anyway, so. But here you go. There's going to be a new person stirring your romantic feelings, and you guys will be having a very nice conversation to start. So I'm going to do a Celtic cross to see what the energies are. We're present and coming towards you. Okay, the past you have the sun. All right, let's see, Leo energy. So there was something that came out into the open in the past. Something was exposed. Let's try to get more clarity on that for you, Virgo. Something was exposed. Okay, they're giving me two cards. All right, so some communication from a air sign. Okay, this person brought you some really good positive news in the past, or you got some clarity on something that was very positive that came to you. Let me see. All right. All right. So there was something definitely hidden that came out into the open. Um, some messages or information you received or some news in the past that brought you some very, uh, it brought you some clarity, something. This could have been um, actual messages that you received about something, or this could have been um, an energetic thing, or you just had like a light bulb moment of something in the past that you weren't too sure of, that you weren't, um, that you needed more information. And it looks like you got it, okay? Um, about a person, place, or a thing, okay? So whatever that was, um, it looks like it caused you to see things presently in a different light, okay? So right now, it looks to me like you you have a different perspective about a past situation. Let me see. Show Virgo, what's the challenge about this situation? Okay, so the challenge is letting go, okay? It's hard. Uh, the challenge is to get into some kind of acceptance about something painful um, or even if it's not painful, the challenge is to accept that something um, wasn't fulfilling in the past. You know, so this is kind of like a progress here. It feels like in the past you came to realize something, but now you're seeing it differently. And now the challenge is to accept that Maybe something isn't going to be what you thought it was, okay, in regards to some type of a relationship. Let me see what is driving you right now. What's driving you forward? Where are you getting your own from, Virgo? What's causing you to be in this situation right now? Why are you seeing this situation differently? Why is Virgo looking at this differently? Okay. Huh. Okay. You might have thought someone was your soulmate. Um... Okay, let's see. Also, your th past memories. Yeah, you're thinking back on the past. That's what's driving you to see something differently. I feel like the overall message here for you, Virgo, is what maybe you thought was really wasn't. And I don't know exactly what that means. But what you thought was something in the past might not. I don't know. You're just getting some clarity about it. Look. 
that something in the past was very sad or something in the past, the five of cups. You might have some re remorse or regret about something in the past, um, but you're dealing with it. You're accepting it. You're dealing with it. You know, it's, it's, it's a challenge for you to grieve it, but it's a benefit for you to do that. It's going to help you. Um, if you didn't get some kind of closure, um, give yourself the closure by accepting something and then forgiving and letting it go. That's, that's the message I hear, but it's a little bit of a challenge for you. Now, what's crowning down above you? Like what's in your thought process? What's in Virgo's thoughts process? What's in their mind? Okay. All right. Awesome. So you've got the magician. This is manifesting. So your head space, you're kind of like, all right, dealing with the past, accepting something, letting something go. But the magician in your head space crowning down is trying to magically create something new for yourself. That's your head space, which is good. Um, this is like you've already taken some kind of leap of faith in your life because the full card is before the magician. So you've already done this. You've already taken the first step, right? So... The first step is pretty much like, okay, let me just let go of something here. <sighs> let me try to grieve it, whatever it is. And then the next step is the magician, where now I'm focused on what I, what it is that I do want and what it is that I do need. So I like that energy. I like where you're at, okay? You're transitioning here in July for sure. Now what's coming towards you? Oh, wow, you've got temperance. So this is reaching a place of neutrality, reaching a place, place of... um. Yeah, they're just telling me neutrality, balance, being at peace. This is coming towards you in July. So this is great. So whatever you were dealing with in the past, whatever the issue is, it looks like you're working through it and you're doing good, Virgo. You're doing good and you also have excitement. You may even have like some kind of exciting messages coming to you in July. Um, accepting dates, um, making dates, doing something fun. Yes. Okay. I feel like your, your springboard gets set. And in July, you just come to this, this like temperate place, like you're moderate, you're, you, you've moderated things, you're good. You, you found you find a way to like balance the negative with the positive. So it's a very good energy coming toward you. And that just means to me, Virgo, like you're coming to this place of acceptance and peace. And now you're finally able to start getting excited about something. Um, going forward. Now let's take a look at your advice right here. Okay, your advice here is a nine of wands. So put your boundaries up, keep your boundaries in place, be persistent. Uh, lesson learned, be persistent, protect your heart. Okay, <laughs> you've got the death card. Yeah, so the endings and new beginnings, right? See this ending, your advice here is to take a look and see this, this end, some type of ending as an actual new beginning, okay? Now, let me see what's external to you. Other people, places, and things external to you. Okay. So, you've got someone external to you, an emperor, who um, seems to be very sneaky. Okay. This is someone who is very sneaky. This is a person in a position of authority. Um, or someone who, you know, it's strange because the emperor is not generally a sneaky kind of person, but some of their, um, for some reason, this emperor has got this seven of swords energy behind them where they kind of have this, this decept deceptive thing about them. Well, let me see what else is going on here. What else is going on with this, this emperor? Why is this emperor showing up with that negative trait so i feel like they're saying that everything that the emperor does is generally positive and above board and real and true and good but there is some deception in the words in the communication okay telling some lies the tendency so lies not necessarily to harm um Oh, okay. So they're just saying that this, the lies that this emperor tells are white lies to save face. I don't know what that means. This could be somebody coming towards you, uh, a new lover, where there's some type of communication. And I feel like there will be a heart to heart co conversation. But some of the things that this emperor will say to you, they skirt over the details. Okay. So 
it's lie by omission, I feel like, this emperor. They're not ready to tell you certain things, okay? So when you meet this person going forward, because I do feel like this is the new love coming towards you, can be an Aries or someone in that Mars energy. Someone, um, they're just leaving some things out when you have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Let me see, why? Why are they going to leave some things out? Um, they might have been a little tricky in the past. Oh, <laughs> oh Virgo. This person's wealthy as F. Okay, for some of you, this person's got a lot of money. How they get their money could be through gambling, um, maybe doing some illegal things. It could be a gambler, you know, uh, or someone. I'm not saying like addiction here, but they're not going to tell. <laughs> there's something being left out about some wealth or fortune. They don't want you to know. For some of you, I feel like this person doesn't want you to know that they come from a lot of money or are the way they get their, how they have their wealth because they want you to like them for who they are. Okay, so they're not, that's what they're going to leave out. And they're not going to tell you, oh, yeah, by the way, <laughs> I have millions. They, <laughs> or I have all this money tied up in assets, assets. I'm like filthy rich, or I have a lot of money, or I get my money through, you know, the wheel of fortune, can, like I'm a risk taker. They do maybe betting of some sort. They have all this money. Um, they're not going to tell you because they don't want you to, be bedazzled by that <laughs> i'm just hearing this is a new love coming in so they're going to pretty much tell you a lot of heart to heart they may reveal it though they might at some point i feel like this is something new someone new coming in okay they're giving me all these cards that just fell what do they want to say all right so for some of you this uh, definitely aries leo sagittarius queen of wands yeah sitting here with the wealth male or female energy definitely sitting they've been looking for the right person look at this they've been looking for the right person um doing that search putting the energy out there see who's available this person is is filthy rich they're they're wealthy they're hiding their money they don't want anyone to know they don't want you to know they don't want anyone to know they're not going to put that out there right away um, they're basically just going to be like, oh, yeah, like I'm a beekeeper. That's what I, that's how I make my money. I'm a beekeeper. <laughs> but they might be like filthy rich from all the honey that they import or export. Okay, they're not going to tell you. I mean, that's okay. Now you know. But either way, oh, they just, I feel like this person just is like, get to know me. Don't get to know my bank account just yet. Or they come from some kind of wealth. Okay. <laughs> this reading is so funny. I don't know. It's so specific. Let me see. All right. What are your hopes and fears, Virgo? <laughs> Virgo's hopes and fears. Okay. So you've got... Oh, my card was stuck to my nail. So you have the Ten of Wands. All right, Virgo. Now, this is good both ways. Like, you fear you're going to struggle, but at the same time, you're hoping it's the end of the... This is the end of the struggle. Whatever your struggle is. It's also, for some of you, it's the end of physical labor. I mean, I feel like this person is so wealthy i mean sugar mama sugar data whatever but i feel like this person is so they've got so much money for some of you you're not gonna have to work anymore <laughs> I, which is crazy for virgos because virgos like i love to work virgo you will always work even if someone like puts you up you will always find a way to work you run your own business you have to stay busy okay so even if somebody has tons of money virgos don't are not generally like they don't Virgos don't look for people to be, Virgos don't like to be kept. Virgos don't look for people um, in that way to like put them up. That, that's just not really a Virgo trait. Virgos are just always out in the field, you know, supporting themselves. They're very independent. They love to work. Um, I mean, but Virgo doesn't want to struggle either, you know? So if somebody wants to pitch in, that's great. And I feel like there will be that opportunity here with someone who's coming in. They just... I also want to say this person was a little deceitful in their past, but they've, they've changed as well, that, that behavior. Um, they may hold that back as well to you and not tell you their past history. Um, uh, and it's funny because with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, I feel like they're going to want to, though, open up and tell you everything. Um, don't push them. I guess that's the message. They eventually will open up and, and have that conversation. Eventually they will tell you, you know, as you get to know each other that, um, 
you know, as the bond deepens, as you get to know each other that, um, yeah, they got some skeletons in their closet or they just have some things. They just want to get to know you. That's what I feel like that energy is going to be playing out in July. Okay. Um, okay. So you also have, okay, some of you are hoping for a renewal with a water sign and that a struggle, the struggle with that, that, that is over and that there maybe is some healing, but some of you might be fearing that a water sign is going to want to try to reunite with you. Okay. It's not saying that they are or that they're not. It's just a hope and a fear for you. What is the outcome with this new, with this new love coming in? Okay, so there's a decision that's going to get made. Let me see. What is this decision? Oh, <gasps> there's the Nine of Pentacles again. Oh, Virgo, I do feel like this person's like financial status is going to weigh heavily on you about a decision. Um, if uh, For you, I feel like you're going to be standing at the crossroad about whether or not to actually date this person or to, um, you know, go forward with them or whether or not just to be single, you know, an independent solo and on your own, financially stable on your own. Hmm. I don't know why that's going to be a decision for you. Um, but yeah, I see you. I see you kind of like coming up to this thing like, well, you know, if this person has a lot of money or um, you might want to just kind of just not let them know, keep it kind of like secret about your own financial situation. Um, I feel like this, fin I feel like money's going to play a huge role in your decision about connecting with this person. This feels like something very different. It doesn't feel like something you might be used to. Maybe you are, I don't know. But I feel like finances, independence, luxury, all of that is going to play a huge role in this relationship, in the decision about whether or not to accept this new love or to keep something going. For some of you, you might fear or just feel uncomfortable that somebody makes more money than you, that could be something. Or if this person was deceitful in their past and they tell you, there might be a fear of whether, you know, hmm, should I trust? Should I take a chance or not? Yeah, I feel like at the, the end is like a crossroad here for you, Virgo. The end of the, at the end of July, especially, I feel like you're going to come up on this, hmm, hmm, you know, Virgo's going to be going down the rabbit hole with their analytics thinking as well. Let me see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. And I, you know, we're having a thunderstorm. I recorded this right after the live stream. I think I'm going to bolt out uh, quick because I'm afraid I'm going to uh, lose my power here. All right, you've got, yeah, you've got the star card. Your hope, faith, and wishes are being restored. Make a wish right now and believe it is yours, okay? So there is some type of healing happening you're getting some type of hope back in July, okay? Your wishes will be coming, okay? You've been probably a little bored with something or just in your life in general. So whatever you've been hoping for or wishing for, I feel like your prayers are being answered, praying about when it comes to love, definitely. All right, yeah, you've got that twin soul connection coming in. Victory, recognition, applause, like you're meeting someone, communicate your love to the divine, be thankful for this twin soul, you've been chosen for one another, even when times are tough and seem back and forth, this love is meant to be, and for some of you, it's time to reconcile, so reconcile, Could this could be somebody you're reconciling with, that you, you know, have finally put an end to that, and there's a new start, with this person and for others um this is like to reconcile your heart and to figure out if you're ready for this connection if you guys you know like if you're really ready for this because it feels to me like um you got some pretty fantastic energy showing up and like i said the end of july there's definitely a big question mark looming over your head about whether or not you are going to go forward with someone because I do feel like there's going to be somebody showing up here. Yeah, I do. I do. Let's see what your messages of love are. What are Virgo's messages of love? Let me see. 
There goes the messages of love integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? That's going to be a one of the questions you're going to be asking yourself. For some of you, this is a past life thing. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm. This is not scripted, you guys. The way it comes out is the way it comes out. So for some of you, there is some kind of reconciliation where there's some type of change with someone that they've made a change. May not, it could have, the money part of it could play out too. This person showing up who's made a change and um, coming in correctly, okay? Like I said, could be Aries, it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, let me see, what other message is there here for you? Now for others, it's not a past person, which I kind of feel like it is. But for others, the 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 one percent of you that it's not a past person, um, there's a recognition of a soul kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like a familiarity comes in as well. You also have trust. So this person might look like someone that you've let go of. There could be similarities between them, um, but it feels more like an energetic thing. There's a fam familiarity. Okay, trust. It is safe to trust in this situation, Virgo. What else do you have? Oh, yep, you've got a decision. That's what I said. You've got a decision is coming up. There's going to be something coming in for you here. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. You're definitely going to have some kind of an approach by someone in July. Past or new, new love stirring up feelings or re-stirring up some old feelings again. And now you're, you're going to be presented with a situation, like a decision. What am I going to do? Do I want to? Should I? Do, or do I just want to stay on my own or stay single? Definitely that energy is playing out, Virgo. So like I said, I'm going to end this here. I know this was short. I am, I can't help it. Uh, there's lightning and thunder. And I don't want to get cut off because if I get cut off, I'm not coming back to redo it. <laughs> Just it, who knows when it'll be. All right, you guys. So again, if you want to get a personal reading, link are in the links are in the description box below. Do become a member of my channel. You can join in on the Sunday live stream chat and ask anything that you want. And we'll just pull cards and do little mini readings for you if you can't afford the phone readings, the phone call personal readings with me. I try to try to cover all bases here with you guys but if you want to get a personal reading you can book with brandy or you can book with me and july there will be a special also please do click on the description box below and please donate to the missing and exploited child fund that i am trying to uh help out with yeah if you want to be a hero any amount will be great and thank you to everyone who's already donated i'm all super super grateful for that and i will see you guys back here tomorrow all right, take care. Bye.